So let's take a look at John Rahm. First thing I want you to notice is this club head is way back behind the golf ball for now. He does this when he wants to hit that high draw. You can see that ball position is right off that front lead foot off that heel. So I've got a circle around his head and I've also got some lines on his legs. I want to see how much sway backwards or how much he pushes his hips towards the target on his follow through. John Rahm is by far the best player in the world at this moment. He has already won two tournaments this year on the PGA Tour. So let's get into the backswing here. So he has this little kind of forward press that he does that kind of gets his swing started here. You can see his hands as they start to move a little bit forward. And that kind of is his trigger to swing. He kind of flexes those arms and gets those arms straightened as he pushes those hand, that handle forward. And then he does have a slight sway backwards. You can see as his right hip kind of comes through that plane line. He keeps that driver very close to the ground on this takeaway. Look how close it is still as it's coming back. It's just now looks like it's maybe an inch or two off the ground. Keeps it very low. Keeps these arms very, very straight through the takeaway. He does sway backwards just a little bit. Then he begins to pivot around that back leg. He has a slight bend of that front leg, but he, we all know that John Rahm has this sh very short backswing. But I want you to notice one thing right here is, you know, the whole keeping your head still during your swing is a myth. You can see, again, best player in the world at this moment, and he's already moved his head several inches backwards away from the target and away from the golf ball. Now at this top position, you can see he's got a little bit of a wrist bow at the top, a la uh, Colin Morikawa or Dustin Johnson. And then you can also see that up here, that club face is a little bit closed at the top. Um, that's gonna be because of that wrist bow. And then another thing I want you to notice is his front foot stays on the ground completely through the entire backswing. And then as he starts his downswing, his, his slight squat as he moves forward towards the target his head begins to drop down. You can see the absolute crazy amount of lag he has here on the shaft. Look at the bend and the bow in that shaft as he's ripping it down towards the golf ball. You can see his hands are already even with the golf ball for the most part. And the club is way back here. He's got a ton of lag, which that's how he produces so much power. And again, look at where his head is compared to his start position. He's very much more behind the golf ball than he was at, at address and he's also lower than he was at address as he makes contact he's standing up on this front leg which stays pretty much even with that plane line you can see his his hip here is a little bit through the line but he doesn't go through as much as some other players again head is ridiculously back behind the golf ball and lower than it was at address. Definitely swinging up on the golf ball. Very well balanced on his follow through. So now let's look at a down the line angle. Um, this is not completely down the line. You can see he's aimed pretty far left, um, but we are uh, gonna take a look at, one thing I wanna look at here is his, his backswing and his wrist bow at the top. As we continue into the backswing, he, you can see he has that slight forward press and he kind of straightens that front leg as he starts to bring it back, brings that driver head back on a perfect line, perfect position here, but you can already see his hands, are, his wrist is already starting to bow here as he continues back on his back swing. He's got a lot of wrist bow um, at the top. You can see here, look at this, this club is extremely laid off. Look at those that wrist there. And then club is way back here where a lot of players obviously will be more over here kind of pointed down the line. He keeps it way laid off and he's got a very short, short backswing. As he starts down into his downswing, he has that slight squat and then starts to load that left side and he drops it even farther inside as he's coming through. Again, you can see here the wrist bow as he's coming through impact. Pushing up on that front leg. 
keeping that head down and behind the golf ball through impact. Very beautiful swing. I know it's unorthodox and a little bit short, but obviously it's working for the guy. Again, just incredible balance as he comes through. And one thing that he does, which you don't see many golfers on the PGA Tour do, especially with the power he has, no spikes. He is wearing spikeless golf shoes. So he uh, has very good balance, and he's very connected to the ground in order to be swinging that hard, have 180-mile-an-hour ball speed, and not really slip anywhere. So 